Let's rewind to the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Groundbreaking? Absolutely. A harbinger of microtransaction madness? You bet. Enter stage left. Horse armor. For the princely sum of $2.50, roughly equivalent to your soul in 2006, you could adorn your steed with the finest, most functionally useless armor this side of Tamriel. The uproar was extreme. I'm pretty sure those notorious alien abductions of the mid-2000s were just extraterrestrial beings baffled by our willingness to splurge on digital equine fashion. And what did the industry learn? Apparently, we are just humans that love to throw our money into a virtual void. Nowadays, microtransactions are as common as bugs in a Bethesda launch. We're so deep in the DLC quagmire that I half expect the next console to come with a built-in ATM slot. Dead or Alive 6, I'm looking at you with your 461 pieces of DLC, is an even more extreme example. Is there even a game in there, or is this all just a virtual Victoria's Secret catalog? Then there's Diablo Immortal, stepping into the ring with the audacity of a billionaire begging for a spare change. Locked loot and pay for luck mechanics? Oh, f off. That's one way to redefine Dungeon Crawler. And Ubisoft? Oh, Ubisoft. You turned Assassin's Creed into a hamster wheel with Odyssey. Stuck because my blade's as effective as a butter knife unless I fork out for a cash level up? No thanks. I'd rather not pay and skip your gameplay. So where does that leave us? The gamers. The payers of the bills. It's simple. Vote with your wallet. If a game feels like a cash grab disguised as an RPG, maybe it's time to grab your cash and run in the opposite direction. There are still beacons of hope like Fallout New Vegas, where DLC felt like a genuine expansion, not leftovers from the cutting room floor, even though that game came out a long ass time ago. And let's not forget the example of Baldur's Gate 3. No microtransactions. Or, you know, not many of them anyway. Just good old-fashioned game updates. And guess what? It's a hit. A testament to the power of putting gamers before gold coins. So, fellow gamers, next time a shiny new piece of horse armor catches your eye, ask yourself one thing. Is it enhancing the game, or just the company's bottom line? Let's demand more from our gold and less of the nickel and diming. Because at the end of the day, our epic quest deserve more than a paywall standing between us and glory. And I, um, just kind of ran out of things to say. See ya.